I've spoken about um, fixed points in time many times. Something that's going to happen, right? From this point to that point. Let's pretend there's point A, right? So there's a point A. And you need to get to point A from where you are now. So how do you get to that point A is up to you. You're going to get to point A regardless. Okay, whatever that point is, you're going to get to it. You're going to get to that point. But the question is, how do you get to that point? Will it be painful? Will it be a soft landing? It's it's kind of like you know that you're going to jump off a roof, okay? Now, when you land off that roof, the journey down to the ground will be your choice. Will you take an umbrella and break the fall? Will you stack a bunch of mattresses? True story. I tried that when I was a kid jumping off the second floor. Not so soft. Um, will you um, bungee off of it? Will you tie yourself with a rope and scale down the wall? Or will you just free fall? See, that is the point. You know you're getting somewhere, but the in-between is not decided by any one person. It's the by, decided by the collective, the collective, the collective. by everyone together. You decide, you decide how to get to that point. You decide how when you've jumped off the roof, how you will land. Your free fall is going to hurt hard and it's going to be messy. There's going to be brains everywhere. You might not survive. But if you understand that you're going to get to that point, then what you decide is maybe I want to marry Poppins the shit out of it or I want to parachute or I want to scale down the wall, you know, rope it. Something. It is all up to your actions of how you get to the floor cuz regardless you're going off that roof so how do you get to that next level you decide and your actions tell you just how painful or just how easy it's going to be cuz the only way it's going to be is you're jumping off that roof period how are you going to land so that is our point so let's let's what can't be stopped is a point in time of something that's going to happen and it can be extremely painful the efficacy of it happening on a good scale or a bad is dependent on you on you on you on you and just so you understand i've said this before positive positive outlooks from all resonating on higher frequencies allow us to collect that majority of you know timelines and parallels to bring them into focus where we want to have them uh you know it's never instant but one thing is for sure the start is not shifted especially when it spans across all visible timelines you know because you can't do it to infinity i mean not even a quantum computer can really do that right but um we have the power to direct our awareness um, in this, you know, field. Um, and the way you can kind of envision it is like a quantum hol hologram. Let's just say that's what it's called in the field. And it can it can take and start an uh, uh, um, an a thread of a timeline, a vertical strand of time somewhere, and then try to either mimic or bring it together because the other one has been sick or has been compromised or is not good. So this is how you bring them together to bring on peak performance. Now, one thing is for sure that fixed points in time always occur um, unless they're eliminated completely from the timeline, which is very, very rare. Um, but can be delayed. We have to think outside of the constraints that we have been instructed to and what we are told so that we can understand, okay, I get it. There's a point A and B because everyone has chosen a specific course, the foundation, the floor, whatever you want to call it. And that A to B is fixed. But what happens in between and how to get from A to B is the odyssey. And that is what can change. Kind of like when Odysseus sailed. I mean, if the wind blew more west, right? Or if it blew more east, his course would have been different. 
he would have been somewhere else. In the end, he still got to the destination. But the way the winds blew took him on a journey to get to that destination. Everyone has a destination to get to. Now, how does this help us? Well, we, we, we create our future and therefore our future impacts everybody else. I mean, you know, I have neighbors I don't know. I have neighbors that I don't know. I, I, I haven't even, well, I've seen one of them, but I don't know them. But everything I do affects them indirectly, collectively, still affects them. There's a guy sitting right now in Wisconsin listening to Tori Says, right? Let's pretend he's not listening to Tori Says, right? But there is a guy sitting on a wooden chair in Wisconsin listening to something right now. And, uh, you know, what effect can I have on him? I do. So do you. So does every single one of you listening to me right now. You have an effect on everybody else. The choices that you make affect other people. It's a butterfly effect, as they say, right? 